What's up, guys? It's Kimchi! And Tofu! Yeah! yeah. Alright, guys, uh, I know we're very inconsistent with our background. <laughs> it's always changing every, uh, every video. But then, if you guys don't mind this, but at least you guys can see um, my cute face. But well, guys, we are going into Tower God episode number 9. On the last episode, I was a little bit confused towards the end about Endorsey, mm. right? So she basically, it's a betray after betray after betray. Yes. But the thing is, Kun wasn't really betraying in a sense. No. Um, he was betraying his of, team. Uh, team, but... Not his real team. Yeah, his real team, his real friends. That just makes Kun more kakoi. Yeah. So cool. Okay. And also, it makes Rock so cool because I love the fact that how much trust he has in his team, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. just oh like, God, yeah, that. dude, dude, you know I'm okay because I trust Kun. That bond is strong. Yeah, he so, trusted in him. Today, we're going to be finding out why Endorsey is pulling the stunt. If she is just trying to copy Kun, she's taking it a little bit too far. <laughs> I was like, uh, Endorsey, I don't think you understand the idea of what Kun did. Oh, oh. You, no, no I'm just, it's a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, I need to get funnier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not that funny. I'm taking it too literate. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for joining us for episode number nine. Uh, The one-horned ogre. Ah, oh, so this... we're going to be talking about that. Endorsey. No, the one horn is that hole. Oh, the hole. oh. Remember the oh, hole? Oh, yeah. Remember that hole? Oh, yeah. Because I was thinking because Endorsey has one horn too. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's right. But she ain't an ogre. Come on. We're talking about that, you know. The real ogre? Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to do? So they all saw this. Oh, they made them compete against each other. That's how they got the princesses. Is she talking about herself? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's her. So she beat all the other sisters? Oh! Killed! Oh killed! Damn, she's aiming for the fishermen and Bam, right? Yeah. Oh no. Look at that little face of hers. Ah, Wait, damn. she killed him? No, I don't think she killed him. Oh, okay. Oh. No, don't touch her. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't touch her, dude. So she knows what it really takes to take uh climb the tower. Yeah. So you gotta do a lot. Not easy. Not a clean path. Mm -mm. Oh! He ain't messing around this time. No. Oh,失敗よ。どうして同じチームなのにこんなことを組まされただけのチームじゃない。ポジション試験ではきそうやわいだからでしょ。どう考えても私より弱いんだから。Yeah, what a cold-hearted freaking woman she is. <laughs>パサパサ。Oh,wow。so she's saying you gotta stay strong. Yeah. Can't be weak. Oh. Oh. Whoa, what kind of sword is. Whoa! Shinsu sword. That's not a Shinsu. Shinsu is water. That's fire. Oh. Hmm, wow. Oh. oh, what's the grab? Oh my god, did they leave him? Huh? They betrayed him. He's so he got himself. betrayed. Even though he helped them out. Ah. Ah, freaking. Whatever, Piccolo. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, so yeah. All of them are traitors. Every one of them. They don't care. They're all selfish. Your death? He's gonna kill him? Well, I, I don't have a problem with that, though. Yeah, but still, dang. I didn't know he could kill them in this. Oh, he protected her! Oh my gosh. What did the letter say? Oh! Oh, he hates Bam! Yeah, because Bam is stronger than him. Because they're all gonna go against each other. No, I knew he was envy as a Bam, but I didn't think like he would go the dirty route to get rid of him. It's because he's trying to make sure he wins. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my god, how is he gonna react to Ho? Oh yeah. あなたの東大が消えていることに気づけばもうどうに登らなきゃならないんです。どうしても言ってやれよ。わかるか、タゴって。ああ。ああ。なんでこんなところになぜ鬼を追わないんです。Dude, he's pissed too. Kun? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think Kun. ほんなさいこれせばそれで済むはずだったのにクズだ。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
gosh. Yeah, he still cares for him. Damn, she probably killed the other guy, huh? Yeah, she has a sword. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
That's not a thong. <laughs> no. I was really impressed with Bam this episode. Mm -hmm. With that, I was actually depressed a little bit with the whole scene. I think we just ate our words mm. from the last episode when you said, I don't really care about him. <laughs> I just want to move on. Well, okay. So now with Ho, so this whole Tower of God, climbing the tower, everything. Mm -hmm. We're going to see, and there's going to be so much betrayals. Yes. Because what's going on is that every single test and every level is that these guys are getting teamed up or paired up with different people as each level goes. Yes. But then what they have to not forget is that it's technically a battle royale. Yes. In a sense. It is. Right? Yeah. So, and Dorsey's not wrong either. Mm -mm. Uh, the fact that she's saying, like, the further you go on to the test, you're just going to realize, like, it just gets darker and darker. And I wonder, like, when you see her, the other girl, it's like, is it, is it really worth it? Is it really worth it to grab whatever's up in the tower? Yeah. Like, what did it take? You have to betray. You have to kill. Yeah, um, yeah you have to kill, betray, step over everybody that you make bonds with. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I do kind of understand in, in that sort of sense. Mm -hmm. And uh, to see all of this just happen all at once where all this like these guys are just betraying each other here, there, here and there. It's just like, you, you know, the real color of this tournament. It's not it's not something like, you know, it's all peachy. Everything's good. We're yeah. going to be best friends at the end. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's no. Not. at the end, it's only going to be you. Yeah, at the end. There's only one winner. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Um, but in this case, where it's like, for them, it's a friendly tournament kind of thing, per se. You mm -hmm. know? It's like, winning is just knocking out the other person. Yes. But then, when you see them go into a point where it's like, they gotta kill them, right? Yeah. Then it's like, oh, hmm. I don't think that's what Bam sees things as. He thinks of this as like, it's a game. Yeah. You just got to win each game, outsmart each other, knock them out or be stronger. But there's no killing or like backstabbing all of that involved. And I think that's something that Kuhn kind of taught him in the first round when he said, we don't have to kill each other. We just have to, we can be be business partners, uh -huh. you know, that sort of thing. You don't have to kill each other to win. Right. Ah, uh, okay. That's what Kuhn said to Bam. Or, or he was talking about the whole, how he did the first. The first one. Okay. Yeah. I see. But then for them, it's like, because when you see the backstory of Endorsey, she was the girl and it, she didn't even get her own table. She was sitting on the ground, the mm -hmm. floor the whole time while the royal princesses, which by the way, I didn't know that. I thought the princess of Jihad yeah. was picked specifically by the king or um, something. But then they had to battle each other for the title, for the princess. Yeah. Mm. And Endorsey killed all the killed everyone all the sisters right mm -hmm. at such a young age yeah just because she wanted to taste the food that all the other sisters had mm -hmm. yeah and for her it's like she wants to keep tasting that food she doesn't want to go back she no. doesn't want to go back into eating that so that's what that's what drives her mm -hmm. uh we also talked like what dr drove her to climb the tower was it love but you know now when you see this it's like is it really love yeah, it does not look like love anymore. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. It looks like she does care for Bam. And she does put into consideration Bam's feelings. Mm -hmm. And so she's warning him and letting him know, like, you better get out now because it's just going to get, get worse. Get, yeah, it's going to get uglier from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the people that she doesn't really care about, she'll backstab him. You know, she'll use him at a certain point. But then when it comes to Bam, it's like she has this soft spot for him. Yeah. Right? Uh, is that what it is? Yeah, because she just sees that he's like a true, genuine, pure human mm. being. Now, what's up with Rachel getting stabbed in the back and then that guy disappeared? The Rock, guy? the one with Rock. Oh, what yeah. Oh, yeah. That? Okay, you know what? I think that's how she passed the first test. I think that guy is like a part of her, like an ability or something. Like she, she was able to create him. Because the way that he just disappeared after the stabbing. Mm. So that's like her stand? <laughs> yeah. In yeah, in a sense. I feel like that's what that is. Ah, that's interesting. Right? Wait, that's really... You know what's really funny is that... Remember we see Rahel eating all that chocolate. Mm -hmm. and but then, also we see that guy that hit the, whatever her thing is. 
eating all the chocolate eating too. all the chocolate too so is she feeding two people is that why she's she has to keep eating that probably is it that must be it right yeah for her her uh that second big guy person. yeah for that second person to stay alive is she has to keep feeding herself the energy that must be what it is because what we thought was it's either that or she needs points she yeah. needs to save points um and that's but, why she stole the chocolate yeah but i don't know this is this is getting really weird mm -hmm. uh, in a way if rahel has this other thing that's coming out of her the the one guy mm -hmm. that was sitting next to rock that means she has two times the chance of winning ah uh, yes that's true right yeah yeah she does twice two chances i don't know man that thing's a little what the heck she just, he just disappeared i mean i i know this anime can like there's a lot of like wtf like what the hell moments yeah that one was was more like wait what <laughs> yeah what what the hell just happened and Rock was so depressed too. He's like, yeah. "Where's my friend?" He's his friend. Yeah, Where'd he go? <laughs> that's right. It was his friend too. Yeah. Wow. And also, why does Endorsey want to take Anak to the tower? Like, she feels this bond with the tower because Anak's mother. Yes. That's why, because Anak's mother was her mentor. Yes. I don't know, cause at the end, when they both get to the top, there can only be one winner. So is it just that she just wants to go one on one with Anak? Or does she want to save Anak? Like, what is it? Is she just trying to kill her at the end? What is she going for? Mm. Because the way that she's showing and portraying herself now, I don't trust her. Yeah, I don't trust in Dorsey. Should we give her a benefit of the doubt that she, you know, she does have a soft spot for Anak? Yeah, I, I could go with you on that one. Like, she is pretty ruthless, whatever, when it comes to everyone else. But it's just because she understands the game. Mm -hmm. She understands it. Is, it. is it is she really evil? No. In a sense? I mean, her ways are very extreme. Yes. Very extreme. But just because she wanna taste steak, she had to kill everybody. She was the same as Ho. She was just getting rid of her component her opponents that she's gonna have mm. to defeat later on because you remember how there's the fishermen and all those? Yeah. They're all gonna be split up and going against each other later on. Well, it also seems like there's limited positions, right? Um, no, they're gonna fight against each oh, other. Oh, they're gonna fight each other, okay. And then there's only one winner. So she's reducing the amount of people so that she <laughs> has a higher chance of winning. Oh, okay, I see, I see, okay. And that's why Ho knew that Bam, Bam needed to go because if he went up against Bam, Bam would win and he would lose. So he was just trying to secure his position to win uh, because he was weak with Shinzu. You know what? Now I understand, Ho. I understand. I understand why why he felt like this about Bam. Yeah. Because he, he, he understands or he, you know, he's in this guilt where it's like strength was the reason why he couldn't save his own people. It's always the more the stronger wins yes. right and he sees someone like bam who he sees that this guy is so gifted mm -hmm. uh he's strong yeah and what he sees in bam is i can't there's no way i can't beat beat him yeah if he doesn't leave because bam's in the same also in the same um uh category as him yes right the shinzu users yeah so wave controller wave controller yeah so in, in this case he he just felt like there's no point of continuing this yeah if bam's in it yeah and um i thought that for ho he his probably wishes to bring back all his species right yes that's what he's fighting for yes and when he committed seppuku i felt that ho didn't really mean about the whole you know i don't care about you guys friends or something i think he did feel that he did. He did feel that. And the fact that he had to go the dirty way and the guilt and just everything that he's done was just like, it was it was the wrong way. He just like, he just wanted to end it. He didn't want to go through this anymore. Mm -mm. Um, which was kind of sad in a sense because he was the last of his race. Yeah. And that actually means a lot for him to kill himself because that's it. There's no more. There's no more. Yeah. Um. But he just, he felt that hopeless, and he felt that much guilt. Guilt, right? Yeah, it was hopelessness and guilt that he felt, and that's why 
he did it. Yeah. Because, like you said, with Bam still being in the game, there's no chance he's going to win. Mm. That's how he felt. Yeah. Because of the power. Oh, man. Man, now looking back at Ho, I'm just like, you know, that guy's been through so much pain. Now you feel for him. I, I do feel for him. I mean, I, I, like too. I said, I, I understood him. I understood him that, you know, this guy's not didn't come from a actually a happy background and he has a bigger motive and a bigger purpose mm -hmm. to climb this tower and in this sort of sense it does kind of make sense to him mm -hmm. going a dirty way to yeah. get that because he's not trying to climb the tower to become the strongest no he's trying to climb the tower to fulfill a wish so yeah. if you have that sense of purpose that you want to fulfill a wish you don't care if you do it the right way you don't care if you do it the dirty way you're just gonna do whatever it takes to fulfill it exactly so um in this case unfortunately he had to go like this and mm. unfortunately he had to show himself as like he betrayed and he, he he was bad yes but in a sense i feel that you know he had his reasons yeah he, he had his reasons for sure yeah was it right that to do that mm. no well who knows? You know, who knows? Right? Yeah, because... we, we can't judge him because he was already, he had everything taken from him. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, who knows? Like, what if you were in that position where it's like you lost everything? Mm -hmm. Do you really care about some people you guys just met? No. Right? Yeah. Um, but whereas when you see someone like Bam, you see a character that he does, I mean, his motive is to stay with Rachel and just follow her. But also at the same time, it's like his character is is consistent in a way where it's like he he wants to do things the right way. He values yeah. friends. He values people. He also values competitors. He values people that betrays him. Yes. That's the type of guy Bam is. Yes. So yeah, I thought the whole scene was pretty pretty sad. Just the fact that that was the last of his race or species. And the last of his species went down like that. It, it sucks for the species, you know? And maybe he could have found a way to try to win it some sort of way. Even if he wasn't strong, he could have maybe been smart or I don't know. Well, if I was to write whole story, mm -hmm. the way that he can actually win this is not by actually winning the tower is to learn something really valuable from this tournament, from this tower, such as like loyalty, friendship, that that's what, that's what brings strength. It's not being you know, physical, strong, or it, it's, that, it's that strength of bond and friendship that yeah. pushes you past the limits. That's what makes you stronger and is the bond, right? right? So in his way, he could have actually gotten his wish in a different way, whereas he didn't climb the tower, but he also made a lot of friends. Yeah. Uh, that way. He would. That way, he wouldn't be alone. Yeah, and he wouldn't be alone. Like technically, he is alone because he's the only one raised. But mm -hmm. he wouldn't have been alone if he went with the right way. Yeah. But he, his mind, and he was just, he was just fighting himself in his whole mind that um, everything was just blocked out. And I think that's when he just realized right before it was just like you know, man, I fucked up. You know, like yeah. bam. Yeah. <laughs> bam. Get it. Well, he didn't even mean to kill Ra Rahel. He he even said like I didn't mean to d kill her. I just I just wanted to get you out of the race. He didn't want to kill anybody. Mm. He was just threatening to just so that Bam would forfeit. Yeah, man. But then it was too late. Once it was the too late, once yeah. the ranker saw it, once Bam saw him, once everyone, especially Bam, I'm I'm pretty sure he's like, man, these guys are not gonna look at me the same anymore. Mm -mm. You know, yeah. now he's now he's lost everything. Yes, it's like he's lost his species but then now he's literally lost everything yeah he lost his dignity and respect everything and his potential friends yeah um pretty crazy so yeah we're gonna be seeing this a lot of friendship being built up mm -hmm. and then friendship being destroyed yes shout out to kun for already knowing what was happening and protecting bam again for kun yeah dude that guy wow that must have been the trade-off to get um the trade-off for him to lose the round the last match what so he was like okay i'll do shinzu and get you up there but you have to protect bam in the next match 
That's why he lost his match to protect Bam. Ah, I see. That's why. So, do you think that the ranker giving that power to Bam was actually because of Kun? The ranker didn't give power to Bam. But the ranker telling him that he was going to help him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He was going to help him. Yeah, he's going to help him. Yeah. And just stun the other guy. Stun the other guy, yeah. But Bam beat him. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm saying is that was that in intention from the ranker or is it because he's just keeping his word to Kun? Ah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's just a food for thought. But, um, yeah, definitely Kun, he is uh, extremely, extremely uh, smart. Mm -hmm. he, he has a purpose and a reason for every move they do. He was thinking about five steps ahead. Yes. Now watching this, it's not even five steps ahead. He was, he was outside of this whole three D round. Like he's, right? Wow. I feel like Sleeping Bag and Kun knew what Ho was up to. That's why they both planned. Uh, mm. They were together too, mm. because the last episodes they both kind of kept seeing him Ho act out. Mm. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That yeah, would that, make more sense. Yeah, that does make sense. Damn MVP, huh, Kun? Yeah. Wow, but dude, Bam, so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking well, Bam, dude. He picked up the right friend. Well, not only did he pick up the right friend, he is a good friend. And that's why he has friends to back him up. Ah, uh, so it's not luck. It's uh, law of attraction. Yes, law of attraction. Well, all right, guys. That was uh, Tower of God episode number nine. We'll see you guys soon for episode 12. Um, or 12. I meant 10. 10. Yeah, 10. So uh, we'll see you guys for episode 10. Um, yeah. So guys, stay safe. We'll see you guys soon. Until then, have a great day and we'll see you next time. See you guys next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.